Shooting the Astrodome was one of the scariest but most exciting things that we got to do on this show. It's something that sticks out in people's minds so much when you think of Selena. She became synonymous with that purple jumpsuit. I remember being a little girl watching the Astrodome performance with my mom on TV. We had to stop everything and watch from beginning to end. It's a huge performance. It's one of Selena's most iconic performances. She just did something remarkable that night. And sitting in that carriage by myself, it was like exciting and surreal, but also nerve wracking because so often I'm with Los Dinos. So for me to be alone in that carriage in an empty arena looking at the Selena sign on the wall felt like a moment alone with Selena. And I will never forget it. Para la construcción de todo el escenario, después de ver las referencias reales, primero que nada decidimos ver de qué tamaño lo teníamos que hacer para que realmente si pareciera. Por facilidad de armarlo y todo, hicimos esta disposición, que es muy similar, pero en una sola estructura de hexágonos. Los hexágonos son de metal. Empezaremos a forrar los hexágonos con tela y Pues al tenerlo listo ya entregamos el set para iluminación para que fotografía pues ya haga lo, lo que tengo que hacer. Aquí estamos viendo la parte donde va a estar de fondo para cuando es la escena del carruaje que la van a hacer en cámara lenta para la entrada al estadio. Pues aquí va a estar el caballito con bueno, los dos caballos jalando el carruaje que lleva Selena. Hi, I'm Katina Medina Mora. I'm director of Selena the Series, and I'm directing this episode where we're shooting the Astrodome, which is huge, and it's probably the, the concert that people remember the most of Selena, so it's a, a big challenge, and we're excited as well. We recreated the stage, just the same measurements as the original one, same colors, all the instruments, and Christian has been rehearsing forever for this one. This is a very iconic performance. It's not like a typical cumbia with Selena. And we start really seeing the 70s in there at this performance. The flow and the energy and her style comes from that era. It gets very interesting when you do our research as a choreographer and you start seeing the progress of Selena, we have to match that progress as well with Christian. I think it will be very emotional to relive this last concert she had because at the time we didn't know and it was just like an amazing concert but now I think the emotions are there because we know what's coming and I feel that we'll be a bit more nostalgic about it. Recreating the Astrodome performance was spectacular. The most complicated part about shooting the Astrodome was making sure everything was as close to identical as possible. We wanted to make sure that we changed mics at the same time. We had her iconic band-aid. We had the lipstick on the mic. Doing the performance was so much fun. You know, I had worked with Rodrigo on the choreography. Christian was doing every single little detail that Selena did in that performance. I've been connected with the show and with the people, a part of it, but I never really felt, you know, that thing that people say they feel until that moment. Just really seeing Christian become Selena. Still get a little tingly thinking about it. <laughs> it was really exciting. I remember our crew dancing in between takes and that's always one of the more emotional moments for me is when we're not filming, but when I see that everyone here, our crew, our cast, is just happy to be where they are, that everyone's so proud to be telling this story. 
Suze Quintanilla injured herself right before the Astrodome performance. It was obviously an accident. She hurt herself to the point where they needed a replacement for the Astrodome. You know, as in real life, so in the series. I remember Hiro coming up to me like a few times during the day, just reiterated to me over and over again, take it in, take it in. I think it's when I moved on to the carriage ride and I was alone that I really listened to Hiro and took it in and it was very special. There was a sense of relief, but also a sense of accomplishment. So I'm very proud of what we did that day.